you will not break that man. Get that man some milk. Tell him you gonna have to you gonna have to strengthen them balls, baby, dealing with me. juicy girl chats uncensored it's totally a hundred percent real i do an advice segment at the end it's just a good old it's just a good old time girl so we sit down we have drinks we have snacks it is what it is so today my drink of choice is a cab okay a little bit of red wine and this is from the brand california roots i actually found this at target it's like five dollars 13.5 percent alcohol I was like sign me up so in today's video we are going to talk about how to be confident and comfortable in a mixed size relationship as in your plus size you're curvy you're thick and young man you know he's smaller than you not in height okay but in size as in you can't wear his sweatshirts you can't wear his clothes none of that Okay, this is a topic that I have been seeing a lot lately on Instagram, on YouTube, on TikTok. And I was like, oh, well, let me add in my little two cents child because you guys have also asked me questions about this before. Now, before we even get into it, I need y'all to stop right now. Stop right now what you're doing and give this video a thumbs up please like this video it helps me so much with um you know just trying to get ahead of youtube's algorithm and making sure that my content actually gets seen because you know the girls the girls the girls the girls need this now girl let's take a sip And get right on into it all right you guys so this topic has been coming up a lot lately and honestly it's very common because as a plus size girl especially in my experience i'm just the girl that um, i've only really dated men that are smaller than me like let's be honest i think i told you guys before in another video i'm not attracted to the big boys i don't know what it is i just like i just am not attracted and to be honest i don't feel bad about that not one bit because the plus size daddies don't really like the plus size girls either. Like, let's be honest. I, they've said it. We shit. They don't really like us either. So, Pooh, if you ain't got it for me, if you ain't big on me, I'm not big on you either. <laughs> Just keep it pushing. So, point number one. <laughs> he knew what you looked like when he approached you. Okay? Like, this is something I really need for y'all to, to, like, bring this into your head. He knew what you looked like when he approached you. And guess what? He still chose you. Okay? He chose you. He saw you. He said, mm, love it. Because men are very visual. Okay, the first thing they look at when they see you, of course, is your appearance. And they're just start imagining. And they're just very visual creatures. So if they like what they see, they're going to pursue you. And it, unless it starts in like a friendship where they really get to know you and all that, da, 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 best believe, even if he started as your friend, he peeped it. He peeped what you was looking like. He peeped what it was given before he steps. But men are very visual. So if he approaches you and he wants to take you out on a date, he tells you, I want to get to know you, he likes what he sees. Okay? He chose you. Stop trying to sit here and act like that boy ain't seen a role before. <laughs> Stop trying to sit here and act like that boy ain't seen a stretch mark before. He don't know what back fat is. He don't know what a little underarm jiggle looking like. He don't know what cellulite is. He don't know who that poopa hang. He knows. He very much knows. He's very much aware of it. This is more than nine times out of ten. This is not his first rodeo. <laughs> nine times out of ten, this is not his first time dealing with someone that you know got a little got a little cushion for the back. Like it, it, it's 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 probably not the first time that he's dealt with someone that got some weight on him. Okay, so we have to really like beat that into our head. And he is probably dated. A plus size thick curvy girl before okay and if this is his first time dating a plus size girl 
Okay, teach him. <laughs> like, let him know. Let him know what it's really given because it will change his entire life. Like, change his life, sis. It's just important to understand that he chose you. And I don't know if y'all need to make that like an affirmation, write it on a sticky note, post it on your mirrors, put it on the screen of your phone. I should make an affirmation app for like plus size girls, like girl. Because I think sometimes we can be so insecure and our body is so insecure about what our partner looks like compared to us. And it just, it just, it just psychs, it just makes us psych ourselves out for um, just going on a date and enjoying and enjoying dating period thinking that because we're a certain size we don't deserve a certain type of man and let me tell you something let me tell you something I could be dating Drake and I'm still that girl. So sis, I need you to understand that that little shapewear, I don't care if you are shapewear down to the toe, baby. He know what it's giving. He know, he know you got a corset on. Stop playing. He knows exactly what it's giving. And he knows what to expect once you take all that shapewear off and everything that you're using to try to hide your body. Like, let it out. He knows exactly what you look like and he chose you. How many times do y'all need me to say it? He knows exactly what you look like and he still chose you. And sometimes they're not even putting you in the category of, okay, I'm gonna date a plus size girl, I'm gonna date a thick girl, whatever. Sometimes they're just attracted to beautiful women and they find women beautiful in however they come. If they're attracted to you and they find you beautiful, they find your personality beautiful and they wanna get to know you, then that's what they do. And it's not even necessarily like having a type, they just might like you. So sis, own it, go on that date, enjoy it enjoy dating that man and understands that everything is giving everything is giving muffin top back fat underarm fat back boobs cellulite fupa jiggling the thighs jiggling everything he loves it period okay so number two and this is what i really need y'all to get out of your head bad bad you will not break that man you <laughs> You will not break that man. You will not break that man, okay? That man, that man be sturdy. <laughs> you will not break that man, baby. Get that man some milk. Tell him you gonna have to, you gonna have to strengthen the bones, baby, dealing with me. Buy him a little vitamin C tablet, a little calcium tablets. <sighs> You're not gonna break that man, okay? Like, girl, have fun. Have fun with that man. Like, just because you're heavier than he is, doesn't mean the second that, you know, you cuddle up with him or do whatever, I'm not in your bedroom, girl, or you sit on his lap or something. Y'all think what, his leg gonna break? Like, you that scrawny, you that brittle, or are you 90? Like, you are not gonna break that man. Stop playing. And it be the skinny ones too. They be they be loving all of this lusciousness, okay? Whether he needs to go to the gym, lift weights, like baby, I need you to go in the gym and, and lift a cool 250 to 300 pounds. Yeah, like, dealing with me. Like, let him do what he has to do, but I'm just telling you girls, you are not going to break your dude. Don't let people tell you that. Get that myth up out of your head head okay and so let that go and let go of all your inhibitions and have fun while you are dating and be comfortable with your weight in your body most of the time honestly i'm, I'm a, like just to keep it on it i feel like more slender men really like to just like feel the cushion and you know just it's just like to feel all the plushness of a plus size woman. I don't think, I mean, I guess uh, skinny people do like skinny people, but I do feel like sh uh, to a certain extent, skinny men don't want to feel bone. <laughs> Don't want to feel skin and bone too. Like I, yeah, I just don't, I just, I just, yeah, I don't think so. He will live. He will be okay. <laughs> and what, what did Kanye say? That does not kill me. Will only make him stronger. Tell him he can do some straight training, baby. Bench press me. Ah! Bench press me. Number three. 
Block out all the haters, okay? So sometimes I feel like when your partner is more physically fit than you, is smaller than you, haters gonna hate. And that just is what it is. People are gonna look at y'all, and whether it's family, friends, or you're just simply walking down the street, people, you will have people that will look at you and will believe that you don't deserve the partner you have and listen i'm so girl i'm so good with myself that i be thinking like he don't deserve me like what you mean i don't deserve him just off of appearances like girl i'm the winning one in this situation yeah he's a prize in his own way but i'm a prize in this situation too like people will look at you like oh what is he doing with her whispering everything behind your back Girl, block off the haters because at the end of the day, they're not in your relationship. Especially sometimes, watch out for them girls too. Watch out for them women. Watch out for their little friends and everything because don't be mad because my man is fine. Like, you know, don't do that. Don't be mad because I got the hot guy and you want him and, you, and you're and you trying to figure out just because you, you know, you bought yay small and you eat a grain of rice and a little kale for lunch and you're trying to figure out why yo, yo, you don't have this man or your man is not as fine as him. Like, don't be mad at me. Uh-uh, do not be mad at me because he like, he like a dick. You will have those girls that hate on the fact that you got the guy they wanted or the guy they think they deserve and that you don't deserve because you don't fit whatever their standard of beauty is block them out okay so number four is stop being insecure and i know that is easier said than done and this might sound a little insensitive but i'm telling you this because i'm your good sis and i'm always going to keep it real with you all but that insecure stuff when you're dating someone especially in the early stages it just is not cute <laughs> it's not cute at all like that oh i'm big i'm da -da -da -da. like if you're gonna be out here dating like it's cutthroat it's no joke out here if you're gonna be in a relationship and you are that insecure with your body insecure with yourself you might not need to be out here doing that like you might need to go home and sit down and figure that out and work on yourself and i'm just i'm just telling you that and the reason is because men are attracted to confident women okay men are attracted to women that own who they are and I own their body okay I think one of the reasons why when I'm out I get approached and you know that I'm able to attract who I attract and who I want is because of how I carry myself I carry myself with a lot of confidence I am the main character when I walk into a room I am that girl because I believe that I am that girl I own my body I dress it up very well whether I'm sexy whether I'm chill whether I'm super casual whether I'm a little bit bit bummy I own it you know what I mean so that insecurity stuff like men can sniff that off like a dog okay like a little drug police dog like they can sniff that off and they can play off your insecurity so even if you're not feeling so secure you know I always say fake it till you make it like Rihanna said and honestly some people might not agree with that but sometimes you have to act like you're something to believe that you're something so if you have to act like you're confident and play like you're confident until you actually believe that you're confident and you get used to being confident then do that okay i i wouldn't say like on the first couple of dates spill out all your insecurities to your partner like oh you're so fit oh you're so girl don't be on the date trying to sit here and order a salad if that's not what you really want don't do that because men can really like sniff out when you're being unauthentic like when i go on a date like i'm getting pasta <laughs> I'm getting chicken. I'm getting, you know, like, don't do that. Don't try to act like, oh, I'm not hungry. Girl, yes, you are. <laughs> of course, you, you know, you want to play it safe and make sure that you don't get hurt or anything like that. But like I said, going back to my first point, if he saw you, unless you, you know, you never post your body. Girl, even if you, if you never post your body, he know you be. Okay, he he know you think he know you think about arms. <laughs> he know you think about a face. He know you think about a wrist. It's funny because when I was in one of my very first 
relationships. I remember not being as confident in my body as I am now and going on his Instagram and looking at the types of girls he followed and a lot of them weren't plus size, a lot of them didn't look like me. And that was my insecurity. And because of that, I would start a lot of issues within our relationship. Like, oh, why are you following this girl? Are you messing around with this girl? And when I was causing issues in our relationship based off of my insecurity, which was not fair to him at all. Well, that's why I say like, if you're that insecure, you need to figure that out within yourself because it's not fair. It wasn't fair of me at that time to put my insecurities about my body or my insecurities is about being in a relationship with someone that is more physically fit than I am on to him or on our relationship if you understand what I mean like it's just not okay it's not sexy okay it doesn't turn a man on it's not attractive it's very much a turn off I remember talking to my sister um, about so I don't even remember what it was but I was just like something about a girl and pertaining to the guy I was um, just me assuming something about a girl pertaining to the guy I was dating and she told me she said you know what that's not cute she was like you do that it's really not cute it's not attractive you need to stop doing that and I was like dang you're right girl you need to understand that you're a prize you are a trophy you are a queen you are beautiful and if that man chooses you and chooses to date you and get to know you and to love you out loud because we don't do the ones that don't love us out loud and chooses to love you out loud and he is treating you right girl let him do that stop putting all your body insecurities on him this is not the time or the place you can discuss I think when you get deeper into the relationship, but babes, have fun. Like, own it. Own your plus sizeness. Own your curve. Own everything that makes you you. And then he will love you from the tip top of your head to the bottom of your right, feet. Y'all, I hope y'all learned something for that. I don't just be talking and talk, child. I need y'all to take notes. But anyways, transitioning over to the advice portion of this video. Baby, y'all is something else, girl. So we really get into it. By the way, you guys, we are family. So if you have any advice on any of these um, posts that I'm getting ready to read, feel free to comment down below and give the good girls a little bit of advice okay so um this person doesn't want to remain anonymous so i will not say their name but hey chrissy hey girl just love you and your channel thank you um, I have a question regarding sex in a relationship i am now getting into dating and i am a virgin I am curious to know how would I bring this up in conversation? I don't want to be dismissed or considered a turn off. First and foremost, on a serious note, um, congratulations on being a virgin for real. I think that's such a beautiful thing. I don't know if your intent is to stay abstinent until you are married or if you are just holding on to your virginity until you meet someone that is worthy of taking that from you I'm so I, I don't know where you're at in that situation however does it need to be discussed while you're dating yes now the timeline of that I don't think it needs to happen too early like I wouldn't say bring it up date number one like that's gonna be a turn off because you probably gonna be like wait a minute whoa like calm down you know and I think that if it's something that's bought up that early or he asks you that early then that's a red flag in itself it's a red flag sis because clearly um he has sex on his mind which I feel like every man does but it's like dang play it cool you know um however I do feel like maybe date number five or depending on how much you talk and how deep you get and how soon and, and that's on you you know I'm not in your um relationship to know that but um, I would just say from an outsider, like maybe date number five, because I feel like date number five are where things are starting to get a little bit deeper, maybe a little bit more hot and heavier on like just a physical 
you know, that's typically where people start to hoe out. So I feel like <laughs> date number five, maybe start to bring that up between date number five and six. Um, and it could be a situation to where maybe that's a date where you have them over and you're cooking dinner and then y'all watch a movie and you start cuddling and a little makeout sesh starts to happen and you used to be like, whoa, whoa, whoa there. Like, calm your horses. Is that what people say? Calm, hold your horses. Like, Hey, I just want to let you know that like I'm a virgin and, and you say it in that moment and once you tell them I want you to sit back and observe how they react to that um, because if that freaks him out and he considers that a turn off and he's now turned off of you he starts replying less he stops planning dates okay red flag it's over because what I decided to do with my body should not I guess deter you from wanting to get to know me or, 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 or date me. Um, but you do have to be upfront because some men may say like sex is a part of what I want in a relationship. And if that's it, and that's not, if that's what they want for their relationship, but that's not what you want for yours, you have to be a grown woman and be upfront about that and let them know. Being a virgin in this day and age, and I don't know how old you are, but that's a beautiful thing. So advice from your good sis is to hold on to that as long as you can because that is so special and that is yours if a man is showing you that he's not down for it let him go it just means that that's not the man for you because he doesn't respect um what you want to do with your body okay so number two and i think this is going to be the last one i do and then i'll do the others in the next video i'll probably put out a bonus episode this week but this one is a long one so hey christy first off i want to say i love you so much you are such an inspiration to me i used to struggle with wearing certain things but when i saw you i felt encouraged to actually buy a prop top i know that's right and wore it with pride instead of wearing hoodies all the time girl i know that's right okay so for my story there's been a guy i've liked for quite some time and i had enough courage to ask him on a date the date went pretty well so i asked him out on another one to the cinema and he seemed happy enough to go on one one thing i didn't know is that he planned on also inviting his friends even when i told him it was only supposed to be the two of us what and he totally neglected me to talk with his friends one of them which was a female and they were way too close for my liking I got so angry that I actually left and since then he hasn't messaged me at all. We're approaching a whole week now. What do you think I should do? I know that I should probably let go and move on for him, but he's the only guy for quite a long time to actually care about me and make sure I'm okay. First of all, okay, I'm not judging. I'm not judging. I think that it's really dope that you had the confidence and the courage to go after what you wanted and to approach who you wanted because I think sometimes we forget that Men are shy too, and I know they're supposed to be the ones that are supposed to approach, but men are shy. However, I'm very much the type of girl that likes for the man to take the lead. Like if you see me and you're attracted to me, come talk to me, I'm gonna give you off the vibe. Now you you pick it up and do what you will with it, okay? Um, here's what I'm gonna say. I think you asking him out open the opportunity for a couple of things um unfortunately sometimes men will try to finesse a woman um just because she opened that door to be us oh, gonna sound, don't be mad at me um he might have not actually maybe okay i'm gonna give him the benefit of the doubt and say maybe he didn't understand that it was supposed to be a date with y'all two and didn't like see it just because you were the one that asked him out or maybe he just didn't take it seriously and 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 that's horrible for him to have done um i think that from his actions that he bought people to the date. A man that's really about you and really trying to get to know you, like he's not gonna bring anyone else to this date because he wants your full attention just as you want his full attention. And then to bring a girl on your date is like so disrespectful. It's the ultimate form of disrespect. So maybe he thought it was just some friend stuff. Now here's what you did it include. And I know you wanna be left anonymous so maybe you won't comment it, but just like email me back and let me know. Like. <laughs> Did you pay? I'm gonna assume that you paid because you asked him out. Like if a man asked me out, 
you gonna pay because you asked me out you took me out of my home to come out like i'm assuming that you paid <sighs> yeah girl it's one or two things he didn't take it seriously or he just didn't understand the vibes but i would hate to sit here and say like yeah girl you got finessed but at this point I say let it go, let it go. I mean, if, if you can give him a piece of your mind, but if you're gonna give him a piece of your mind, you need to be prepared to like totally walk away and, and block him after you give him a piece of your mind. Like don't give him a piece of your mind and then you go back to the same shenanigans. Like, and then you said um, it's hard for you to walk away because he's the only person that like checked on you and stuff. So is it hard for you to walk away because you think he cares about you? Because if he really cared about you, he wouldn't have brought other people to your date and then neglect you and while he's over here kicking in with another girl. Or do you just like the attention he gives you? So what it almost sounds like to me is that he's giving you attention to get something. I don't know if you're buying him things or you're spending money on him, but that's what it kind of sounds like. Also, I'm a big believer that if he wanted to, he would. So even though, yes, men can be shy sometimes, but they go after what they want. So I think if he's seen you before, this is someone that you've been around and he never approached you in that way, that may not have been what he wanted to do or that may not have been his intentions and um, being around you. Maybe he just wanted to be a friend and maybe it was a thing where it's like, I don't know how to tell her. I don't know how to communicate this to her, but I don't want to be romantically involved. And I'm just, I have to tell you this because I don't want you to live in like bliss and not understand the reality of what might be going on. And then you get hurt. So yeah, girl, I would just let it go. But the good thing is the positive side about it, girl, is that there is going to be someone out here for you, like attract what you want. Let him come to you, girl. So, you know, it's no mistaken in that. I mean, I, I think it's dope that you have the confidence to do it, but there's someone out here that is better for you, girl. Forget him. Let Miss Mama have him and you find the person or you find and attract the person that is meant for you so i say let it go but babes sign off down below and let our good sis know what she should do but all right you guys that is all for this episode of candle and christy oh this wine shit i'm gonna my mouth dry i really hope that y'all enjoyed it make sure you are subscribed make sure you like this video make sure you share it with someone that you think needs to hear it i love you guys so much and i will see you in my next one Mwah.